Hey guys, what's up? It is your boy here, bringing you a brand new video. So today we're going to be looking at a game called NIMBY Rails, a game where you can build railway systems and tra tram systems anywhere in the world, and I'll get onto that in a minute. I really want to apologise real quick, I haven't uploaded since December, I, I'm sorry I've been working non-stop, but we're going to start a new game, we're going to, let. what shall we call this, I'm thinking, well, obviously, Coyote Transport, uh, we're not going to start with unlimited money, we've got a load of mods, we're going to just select them all up. Right, that's all the mods selected and we're going to start a game and instantly pause. So this is the map, some weird like Apple map looking thing. Uh, obviously you got America, you can build anywhere, I can, uh, let's just choose a place, Yayo. Um, you can literally just scroll into Yayo and have a system here if we really wanted. Um, I'm going to go for a bit of realism and I'm going to go for... Uh, non-realism as well so yeah, I'm gonna just try and build a system that works effectively and earns us some money so we're gonna start in the UK because that's where I used to live um, the beautiful well I still live in the UK I don't know what I'm saying but we're gonna start down here in Coventry if the city I used to live in I live more <laughs> but we're gonna get on to it so we're gonna start in Coventry um, it's got a f uh, most actually most trains coming up from the south tend to stop in Coventry and Birmingham. If you live if you take trains regularly in the UK, you'll know that. Obviously, you can get a train from Birmingham through Coventry. I think it goes through Northampton um, into London. You, you can go straight down into London from from Coventry. So it's quite a connecting city. So we're going to start now. If I remember right, this is where Coventry train station is. So real quick, I'll show you. So you've got population map mode. So obviously there's a lot of people living all over Cannon Park. Where did I used to live? I used to live somewhere in this area in Coventry. It's a, it's a terrible area of Coventry. Uh, then you've got the plane map. You've got the line overlay, speed overlay. We, we don't need to show that at the moment. So we do start off with a loan. And I can have two more loans it seems. We start off with a $1 billion loan. I wish I could change the currency in game to pounds. It'd be better. And we're paying 18 million pack a month. Um, and uh, we got 60 installments. Yeah, rather expensive. Obviously, how much money we're making and all the mods, but we've already done that. You can search for places, and that's the main menu. So, first thing we want to do is we want to start up our our train business, our, our transport business. So, what I'm going to do is we're going to go over to here because obviously, create track, create branches, create platforms, and create depots. So, we're going to start with a uh, a platform so you can have a viaduct ground normal train station tram station and a tunnel station so like a metro um, so we're going to start off with a ground and we're going to start laying in our new train station so we want to go to here um, right if you make a mistake so let's say do that control Z and control Z deletes everything so we're going to do a new train line uh we're gonna have it let's just let's just uh let, let's get rid of that right come on i want 200 meters of train track to right let's try first time lucky uh, to be fair it's quite a long station right 230 is fine and we're gonna have a few platforms because a real life country train station has quite a few platforms We'll just go over a car park, not like anyone parks there, to be fair. I, I've never seen that many cars in it. And one more. Uh, I don't like how unaligned that is. So. Ah, come on. There we go. There we go. Right, there we go. So, I've gone for a four platform. Um, four platform train station so we're going to do the route from Birmingham well from Coventry up to Birmingham Nude Street that is somewhere there's a Lord Nelson so the trains coming this way where the hell is it here's more Birmingham Moor Street so 
think around here is where New is where New Street is. So we're going to go up to there, but we're going to try and go for a realistic line. So once you leave Coventry Station, if you're taking the the shuttle, effectively it stops bloody everywhere. Next, you're going to go to Canley, and their train station is about here. So it's about. Um, we'll go with 140 meter track. So we'll stop off at Canley. Then we're going to come across, and then we're going to stop in a place called Tile Hill. Now I'm not going to make you sit through all of uh, me building this. So what we'll do is I go ahead, put in all the stations, and I'll show you how track works. So see you in a minute, guys. So, as you can see, I've done all the train stations that are on the line. So, we'll start down here, back down here. So, we have Coventry tra sta uh, train station. So, if we were taking, I think, a even Midlands uh, operate the line now. So, you would get it from platform three or f uh, three. You would leave Coventry station, stop at Canley, Tarlil, then at Berkswell, Hampton and Arden, Birmingham International, Marston Green, you go through Lee Hall at Stetchford and Adley Park and then actually I think you go under or over the train, uh, train lines here at Birmingham Moor Street that effectively operates as uh, Birmingham's uh, overground uh, train station because I mean look at the size of Birmingham you've got Wolverhampton, Birmingham, uh, Walsall, you've got Dudley all of these places around here, Solihull Cham uh, Chamsley Wood uh, and then you come in to Birmingham New Street so what we're going to do now we're going to build plans so that's cost us 212 million it is a total of 11,000 meters we're going to build that build so that's all the stations in there so all we need to do now is connect all the stations up so I'm going to take let me see I'm gonna take this across here like so and then you're going to come in onto platform 5, yeah platform 5 and then we're also going to do a branch off um, so it's going to be like that because that obviously if you've ever been to Coventry tr train station you'll know that it branches this way and this way so we're going to connect that up like that and eventually we'll go up that way and connect up with these ones, it, it'll all look pretty good. I'm not actually going to do the proper train lines, how they are perfectly positioned and everything like that because it's going to be impossible. I can barely see on this map. Um, so then we're going to we're gonna cross over here. Uh, actually you go under to be fair there. Uh, cross over again but tunnels are so expensive. And we're going to carry on this line until we reach Canley. And we're going to enter into Canley. Oh, uh, come on, it can be a bit finicky getting over these. Right, 350. And over. So that's so far f three kilometers, apparently. I've only just, I've been watching Colonel Failure play this game and he taught me that a thousand meters is a uh, kilometer, apparently. So thank you, Mr. F uh, failure, for do teaching me that. I'm gonna come across here. There are, as you, as you can see, there are actually gaps where obviously this road will probably go underneath the train line. Um, I haven't been in Coventry for a while, so I can't particularly remember how the trains are. We're coming up to Tarlil now. Um, it's not too far away. So, so far we've done eight kilometers worth of train line. Now we're gonna come out of Tarlil. So that is all the track done. So I think I left you here at Berkswell. So from Berkswell, we're going all the way up here, crossing here. I've uh, done a viaduct. Yeah, viaduct. Uh, viaduct over here, coming all the way up. Bridges, bridges. As you can see, it's a total of 46 kilometers. Costing us with 26 overpasses, 4 kilometers worth of tunnel for 48 million, and only 238 meters of viaduct for 2 million, costing us a grand total of 106 million dollars. So we're going to build all these, spend that money, there we go, and there we go, we have the, we have the line, but we don't have anything to go on it. So we're going to click here for a new line, 
I'm going to give it a new line, so we'll name this one Coventry to Birmingham um, New Street. There we go. The code will be. I don't actually know what to put for a code. Uh, CBNS1. Uh, we're going to base it off real ticket prices, so I was just checking. And apparently, back when I used to take this all the time, it was only like £2 something, um, a one-way ticket. Um, so we're going to charge £4, about $4.80 to ride this. And we can have it in nice, yeah, about that colour. Then we click down here, add stop, so you can add waypoints, set wait time. So I want at least 10 minutes. Uh, between estimate travel times traveling at 100 mile an hour and we're gonna add stops to the line so we want to come out on platform 5 that is let's have a little look uh, accounting uh, stops how far is it 13 99 kilometers so we'll estimate arrival times and there we go so that's for line set up what do we need to do now? Well, we need to get trains. Now, I'm no train expert. I like riding trains, but I'm no train expert. So I want to find the British, how many that, that can go 160, 300 passengers, 152 passengers at 160 mile an hour. So we're going to get these. Uh, we'll just name these ones real quick. C, B, and S, one. And the serial will be CBNS1001. Only got one car on it. Uh, the base colour. Oh, you can't really set. Uh, we'll pick the decal. Oh, we can't do that either. So we're going to get 6. So I should I win 10? I win 10. We'll spend 50 million. We'll purchase them. And then you present it with this. So what you need to do, and it's the simplest one, click on there, line. Coventry. So now you just press play. I'm just gonna bring it up and there's a little train. Woohoo! Gonna wait. And then we, what we do is we just constantly do that. Starting on a Monday. Coventry. And they'll automatically wait and space for themselves. So let's get the rest of these on. And we'll watch our trains for a little bit. But there we go, that, that's the line. Now if we click that, we can actually see our line going from here. And we want to bring up this. I always leave mine on a month. So we've spent 50, we've spent a fortune. Uh, we've only made 5,000 in tickets. Now, something I do like that you can do. Let's click on you. Come here. Let's click on you. So this is one of our trains and you can see the satisfaction. You're pissed off but I don't really care um, bad neutral at seven miles for one pound six one dollar sixty and you can see how many passengers are on board so where are most of them going to Birkswell Tarlil Canley we've got 29 going to Birmingham New Street uh, 11 for Hampton and Arden 7 for Birmingham International and 5 for Marshton Green now they're gonna space themselves out a little bit so you've got three minute wait two minute wait Four minute wait and as you can see they're all spacing themselves out so they should arrive on time so it'll take a little bit um, to actually lay themselves out and get themselves spaced correctly um, that's really about it in the game obviously you can you can build uh, tram lines obviously Coventry doesn't have a tram line Birmingham does but Birmingham also has an overground train system which I really can't be bothered to do right now most trains do terminate here in Birmingham. If they're going north, most of the time you're going to hit Birmingham, change it Birmingham, and head north. I mean, some do come up Birmingham. So, for example, you'll get the London Euston line that goes Birmingham, Coventry, so da -da -da, down to London Euston. And then we also have, I think, the train going up to Edinburgh comes all the way up, into, up, up through Birmingham. Because Birmingham, if you look on the map, is central to the UK. So it's a perfect place to have a train station, really, because everything can go into Birmingham and out of Birmingham. So I think we built one line. I think we'll leave it at that for now, guys. 
Um, I'm going to progress forward a little bit, just check the lines, make sure they're going forward. And if you guys really want to see more of this, then subscribe. Uh, and tell me down below what you think of the game. I'm loving it. It is a great game. I'm no expert. I've watched a few YouTube videos, like Colonel Failure. Um, I really do like the game. It's pretty fun. So, please give us a big like, uh, like if you did enjoy it. If you don't enjoy it, hit the thumbs down button and tell me why you didn't enjoy it. But anyway guys, see you next time. Goodbye.